I believe that there is a rogue element in the Pakistani military and this could be the intelligence services that doesn't listen to military army headquarters. Oh. This I've seen in many, many countries where one subgroup uh, says, listen, buddy, these guys are not doing the right thing. We can't be friends with India. We are eternal enemies. That's what they have proclaimed all along. And so they say, now, you you know, you, you fellows want to make up with India like hell. We are going to fight them. That's when Mr. Vajpayee took the bus and went off to uh, Pakistan to Lahore. And at the same time, the then uh, president of the army chief, who later became president in a coup, he was planning the Kargil operation. And, uh, you know, I don't, uh, they say he's dead. I mean, they, he was in a Dubai hospital and whenever your camera team would go to interview him, he would say, Hey, I'm dying, I'm dying. After that, he'd have his whiskey and look perfectly normal. So then they announced that he's dead. And I don't even know if they brought his body back or they may have brought his body back to Pakistan because he was sentenced to death in Pakistan. These fellows would need to understand, and I believe the present regime understands this to some extent, that it's pointless going on fighting with India. It's been so many years. Till about the 70s, even till the late 70s, Pakistan's per capita was more than ours. Now we are twice or three times there. We have a very powerful military, we have a very strong economy, we are growing at 7-8%. Remittances into India are rising. Foreign direct investment into India. Let me tell you a fact that some of your viewers would be interested in. Total foreign investment in India since our independence in 1947 has been one trillion dollars. A trillion has 12 zeros. Half of that has come in the last eight years from 160 countries in 60 sectors. Now, this is a tremendous statement of trust and faith in India. So half a trillion has come in the last eight years and the rate at which it is going in 22, 23, we are already looking at close to 70, 80 billion dollars of direct investment from foreign entities coming into India. Basically, everybody and his grandmother is now looking at India. And the <laughs> grandmother to be, and the yeah. neighbor, They're all looking at India because the China dream is over. It's dead. It's become a nightmare.